Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today's video is an exciting makeover. I am making over my husband office slash sunroom space. You have seen it in the videos before where we host our Friendsgiving or Easter dinners or Mother Day dinners. This is the right side of our sunroom that used to be empty. As my husband's workload increased, he needed a space at home to work. You may be familiar with this desk that was originally in my office. We decided it would work best for his needs at this time. Over time, this is what the space began to look like. Cluttered, dull, and very uninteresting. Filled with blank white walls, no additional windows besides the light shining through our patio, and an extra small space. This room needed a major sunroom renovation. It is a very small space. My hand starts from right here and goes right here. It is that small. How big do you think this space is from wall to wall? Five feet. Five feet. So. <laughs> you watch this video we should be out of quarantine and there's just a lot that has happened between the time I started this project until now project was put on hold so you may see clips of me in different outfits that will just explain why we are gonna jump right into this video I'm really excited that you're here this video is compacted with a lot of DIYs a lot of solutions I'm super super excited for this space and I cannot wait for you all to see uh, how it turned out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy DIYs and rental friendly videos and hit the notification bell so you're aware every single time I upload a new video. Let's jump right into it. I'm putting together a rough mood board and this is just a general outline of what I want to do so far. So the plan was to keep the desk facing the wall and add an abstract photo of some sort, preferably a large art piece. But then we went back and forth because we need storage. So we thought adding long floating shelves above or adding a art piece with wall sconces, but we really need shelving and storage. So we're gonna add the shelving to the back of the wall. Add some texture with an oval jute rug and top this wall off with a simplistic wall design and of course plants. We went back and forth between these two designs, one with shelving, one without shelving, because you're gonna see very shortly that he does have a three-tier drawer that will possibly work well in the space. Instead, we are moving the desk near the window, making this into a traditional modern styled room with lots of DIYs. I'm going to pretty much freestyle this wall. It's not going to be as detailed as the previous wall design that I did in the past, which I will link. You will absolutely love that video so much. I'm going to do it here in an even smaller space. My husband insisted on including an abstract in this space. I'm using my favorite masking tape again to create a super cool design. So I found this inspo on Pinterest, which I will leave down in the description box. But I'm making it my own by adding a variety of triangles. Since the wall is small in width, I want this to be a huge focal point, so I'm making it as big as possible. My favorite thing about this tape is that it is forgiving, y'all. Because I am freestyling, I'm constantly moving the lines to make sure they're straight. But if you are a stickler about straight lines, a leveler with a laser is what I think you should use to get those crisp lines. I have a smaller level that I find helpful, but remember, this is considered abstract. It should be free-flowing and fun. There is no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a bunch of lines and triangles of different sizes. Um, when I was a visual, I did a lot of window displays. This little sponge saved all of our windows. A tip for you guys, if you live in a rental apartment, Mr. Clean Magic Erasers are really good to clean up spots. Ta-da! I've been keeping in this next hat for so long. The grid wall that we are gonna be DIYing is actually coming from a wire railing. So you would use this on, let's say, like your staircases, patios. It's pretty much for housing, but we are gonna turn it into a storage piece. I actually have a couple of pieces. So this grid wall was originally silver, as you saw in the video, but then I spray painted it gold. I was gonna use it for my office. 
but over time I just didn't for whatever reason. And I thought that my husband may want it for storage. So now I'm gonna be spray painting this all black along with some of the accessories for it. So far I have one coat on there. I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna put another coat on there. Or now I'm actually gonna flip it over and then spray the other coat on it. But so far it looks so good. I highly recommend Krylon. It has a paint and primer in it and it's used indoor outdoor, but I'm not sure about the whole indoor because this stuff is very strong. So I'm not sure about that, but it definitely dries in 10 minutes and I haven't had any runs, any drips, but I got through those three items and then this one and I still have a lot left over. I'm gonna actually go over these, I think like two or three more times and I should be done with this project. I am content with everything so far. Oh, this looks so good. I love this matte black. Ah, I can't wait to style it. Okay, I literally have to stand on this ladder because I am too short. <laughs> but I have three baskets and a pencil container that I'm gonna put on this grid wall. There is no right or wrong way to how to style a grid wall. This is the poster hanger, and I am going to stain it with Provencio 211. We wanted to darken the hangers with a walnut color to match the rug, continuing along with the darker color palette. So I went over the hangers twice, allowing the oak to show just a little bit because the stain will dry darker. This is how they look so far. I asked the husband and he likes how they look, so I'm not gonna put another coat on there. After the stain has dried, I will be adding these magnetic hangers as an alternative to a hanging calendar. I think this way looks a lot more stylish. day for right now there's a lot more styling that I have to do in here and then we have to clean the three tier tray but it's getting pretty dark it's about 722 right now and the lighting just sucks so we're gonna go into the next day for this DIY we are making a pencil holder out of an old candle jar we first need to remove the wax and in order to do that you want to boil water hot enough to melt the wax and then place the jar inside I found this method particularly easier for me, but there are others. After the wax has melted, make sure to pour it inside of a garbage can or a plastic bag, not your sink. That is a story for another day. Okay, this is our last DIY. I wanted to put some type of inspiring quote in my husband's space, so I decided to make one for him by hand. All you will need is a photo frame and something to write with. Remove the backing and paper from the frame and use the stock paper from the frame to trace out another rectangle. Make sure it fits and begin writing your words. I am writing Be Bold as a reminder to him that he can do all things. So after you're writing out your quote, put the art back into the frame and you have your very own personalized typography. So it is the next day or next month, couple of months, and I am finally about to 
finish up this space. So what's on the list today is to organize the three tier drawer, finish styling the grid board and putting final touches on it. I am so excited about this, but I'm so ready. I feel like I'm in between poetic justice and set it off. Like I'm ready for this makeover. decided to um, separate and categorize by like items. Printing paper, photo paper is in one section. Any paper that he may just want to keep, I put them in another section. I actually put them in folders. He has some miscellaneous computer items here. Half the time when we collect stuff, we realize we don't need it. So throw out all the stuff that you don't need. a great way for you to organize your cores in a drawer so they won't get entangled is by adding paper clips. I actually have the cores in between, like it's not puncturing or putting a hole inside of the core. So this is just a quick and easy free way to organize your cores. So this is the organization that I came up with so far. I know it's not pretty, but it's tidy. And I think it's great for him to be able to see up front what he has. And these paper clips are great so that everything won't get tangled up. I thought about going out to get some containers, but most stores are still not open. And I don't want to risk going outside. It's a temporary solution for right now. So what you're looking at here is another hack. So I took one of the baskets from the grid wall to use as an outside storage along the three-tier drawer. I put a couple of items in this basket that I know my husband usually reaches for. Another smart storage solution hack. This is how small the space is. I have to crouch down. It's 27 inches exactly. Pretty small for a wall. I went back and forth whether I wanted to put something on this wall because I don't want it to appear too cluttered in here. Um, but I know he mentioned having somewhere that he can hang his laptop bag um, because he just don't want it to be lying on the floor. And it's just easy for him to grab it when he isn't working from home. I'm gonna try to get... <laughs> I am gonna try to get two of these hooks on this wall. I think they're just really nice. They're gonna go with the rest of the room. They're very modern and they're sleek enough. Oh. If I lost this, I would have cried. to change stuff around like I was going in one direction and I completely switched some stuff around and that is okay trial and error
I did an outro to this video or not. So in case that I didn't, I hope you all enjoyed this makeover. I love how this room turned out. <laughs> Especially for a small space. He worked so hard, so I'm happy to have done this makeover for him. And I'm just happy that he has his own space now. I hope you all took something away from this and was inspired to make over your space. Especially working from home. Be safe, y'all. And as always, I would talk, I would talk to you all later.